It pays to riot. New York City just agreed to pay $13 million to protesters, rioters who were arrested or roughed up by the police during their Black Lives Matter riots in 2020. I thought it was the summer of love. That comes out to about $10,000 per person in the mass settlement. It's one of the largest in legal history for New York City. Here to discuss our GOP strategist, Joe Pinion. Also with us, Guardian Angels founder, Curtis Sliwet. So nice to have you guys in studio. Good to be here. Absolutely. So I'll ask you, Joe, first. I'll go to you first. Uh, what do you make of this? $13 million? They burnt down businesses? They attacked cops? They spit in their faces? Well, let's be very clear. First, the Summer of Love, as they call it, was one of the largest uh, insurance settlements in the modern history uh, for actual civil unrest. Billions upon billions of dollars that had to be paid out. You know who ultimately pays for that? The taxpayers. And now here you have, again, you have a fancy lawyer with people trying to get paid after they destroyed the city that we love, getting tens of thousands, $13 million all told, and who pays? The taxpayers. So again, the people who do everything right get the short end of the stick. The people who don't want to work within the confines of our civil society, they get the candy and the love. And of course, that's just what happens in Woke USA, brought to you by Joseph Robinette Biden. <laughs> well, Curtis, what kind of message does this send to the rioters, to all New Yorkers? Well, I'd play Powerball and Lotto. <laughs> Let's go out there, smash your cop right in the face and get paid. Mm -hmm. It's like you go in the street and you go, yo, where's mine? I, time to get paid. <laughs> and they got paid, 10000 Imagine yeah. for throwing Molotov cocktails in the police vehicles, for attacking cops. And you remember, Lydia, well, there were two days where the cops were told by Comrade Bill de Blasio to surrender, and only I and the Guardian Angels were out there. They broke my jaw in two spots. It was my birthday. Hammer. And a city bike, remember? Bang! Mm -hmm. Where, where's my money? Right? right. Yeah, where's your money? Did you big, file? Big, large mansions made a lot of money. Could I have one right. of their mansions? Right. You, you, you didn't join the lawsuit. No, 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 no. <laughs> well, Hawk Rooster was going to burn down the city, and now he gets paid. Um, I get my jaw broken. I get ugats. I get bupkis. Nothing. I remember that. It was it was my birthday. Um, meanwhile, <laughs> Illinois just became the first state to eliminate cash bail this week. Curtis, I remember... When I was filling in over at WABC way back when, when cash bail was about to go in here in New York City, you were almost doing a countdown, and Governor Cuomo's the one who approved it. Yes, absolutely. He, he can't run from that. He can't hide. But let's face it. New York may have started this craziness. Illinois has taken it to a new level. You have the murder capital, the drive-by capital, the gang, cap uh, gang capital of the United States, Chicago, where the body count every weekend reaches about 100, and now you're going to have no cash bail. Well, guess what? You're just going to allow for more crime. And not just, as they say, if it plays in Peoria, Illinois, it'll play anywhere in the United States. Well, now Peoria is going to have Chicago-style gang problems uh, plaguing that city. Right. And isn't there a neighborhood in Chicago, too, where they've already agreed to pay out reparations? For well, people? I mean, look, this whole thing is crazy. You want reparations. First, Illinois can't even pay their own pension fund, their own state pensions, about $200 billion in the red. So, uh, again, taxpayers are going to be on the hook for that malfeasance. But I think to Curtis's point, our first obligation to our citizens is their safety and security. And if you look at a place like Chicago, which, again, they nicknamed it Chirac for a reason, right? You're more likely to get shot in Chicago than you are in some war zones overseas. So, uh, again, these people on the left, they don't honor their obligation to the Constitution, they don't honor their obligation to their citizens, but more importantly, if they're actually going to be earnest with the people, they're more concerned with staying in power than empowering the people that become the victims of this cycle of crime, doom, and violence. Right, the majority of people that are victims of crime are people of color, so the very people that Democrats are claiming to protect with their policies are being hurt the most by their policies. Speaking of people that just clearly don't know what they're doing, your favorite guy, Mayor Adams. Oh. He came out and said, <laughs> we don't have room. And then there was a tent city. And now if you go to Times Square, what do you see there? Illegal aliens, as far as the eye can see. Oh, let it me is... tell you, though. I've been saying a long time, Swagger Man has no plan. Remember, he's standing there at the Port Authority. I'm your Papa Chulo. Who's your daddy? Come on. Come on. Or put me up in the finest hotels, three squares, Obama phones, health care. Now all of a sudden he says, no room at the inn. We're going to kick you out if you're a single, able-bodied male in 60 days. Hey, Eric Adams, you're not going to another city. They know. Stay in New York City. It has the best benefits. 
All they've done is photobombed it back to their amigos in their country of origin and then say, where do you want to go? Nueva York. Nueva York, it's, it's the city where they hook you up with everything imaginable. It, the city that never sleeps and the city that pays you out big time, including rioting. Joe Pinion, your reaction to that, the illegals well, taking over? I, I mean, mean, look, I, I'm old enough to remember when liberals were up in arms because we had the governor of Texas putting people on buses and bringing them to New York, sending them to the lawn of Kamala Harris. And now, all of a sudden, you've got the mayor uh, who first told us the migrant crisis was a figment of our imagination until he declared a state of emergency for said migrant crisis, now sending people to Yonkers, now sending people to Ron Concomo. So any way you want to slice it, uh, these people have lied us into the plan, and they're trying to lie themselves out of the plan. But again, who is paying the price? Those safe communities that have no idea who's showing up in the house next door, who have no idea who's going to be taking over the cafe gymatorium that they're setting up to make sure that these migrants can be housed. So this is insanity, any way you want to slice it. And while the president is cutting the deal, to update the Third Safe uh, Country Act uh, that was signed in 2004 by Bush that allows Canada to turn away migrants who have gone through other countries before they got here. Meanwhile, again, they're saying, open sesame on the southern border. Come on in. The American dream is for you first and then maybe for the rest of us. I mean, you can't make this stuff any more up anymore. They're putting the, these illegals in these uh, shelters in the hotels, and there's kids, there's schools, there's That's playgrounds. Olivia, there, there's a plan here. And even though they point fingers at one another, they are going to eventually be registered as Democrats. Mm -hmm. You're going to walk into their house, and one day they're going to have a picture of Jesus Christ on the wall, the Lady of Guadalupe, Joe Biden, and Eric Adams, and they're going to say to their children and grandchildren, because of these two... We're citizens of the United States. Vote Democrat till the day you die. They've done it before in history. Mm -hmm. They'll do it again. There's a plan behind all of this. Absolutely. Joe Pinion, Curtis Sliwa, thank you both for joining me tonight. Love having you guys both in the Failure studio. by design is what they call it, Curtis. It's yeah. just uh, the fix is in. Well, my parents, they're from Albania and then Tito. You remember Tito? Uh, yeah. They had the big picture up in yeah, the living room right. of Tito. So, yes, I know it all too well. History repeating itself.